we are at Chiaron Nakon right here and I have to go all the way to Kuang Bang Pai. Hello and welcome to today's video. I actually introduced my video earlier but there was some camera settings where it was overexposed. But anyway, I haven't really got anything lined up for today's video. So we've come to Icon Siam to do a little bit of shopping, to hang around. Why not join me? Today's a Sunday, it's pretty busy here and let's see what's popping. Uniqlo and I'm trying to find some new trousers to buy but I just want to comment on how difficult it is to find the appropriate clothing to dress here in Thailand. There are a number of reasons. One, it's really really hot so you can't wear any sort of like thick trousers or jeans because you'll be sweating your balls off. Two, if you wear shorts during the night you won't be able to go out because you'll have mosquitoes biting you constantly. Those two complications make it very very difficult to find appropriate clothing to dress here in Thailand. These trousers are not bad. If I can find something in black, I might get a pair of these. Right, just to summarize what I've purchased from Uniqlo, just in case you ever want to find some lightweight, long trousers. So these were like the nylon ones. This was XL and the price was discounted from 990 baht to 790 baht there. So this was the first set of long trousers I bought. And then the other one, which I'm not sure if many of you guys will be able to fit into, ultra stretch, skinny, thick colored jeans. And these weren't discounted, so those are 990 baht. So that's about 25 pounds there, $30. And this here is about 20 pounds, so $25. But yeah, right now I'm sitting in my favorite lounge spot in Icon Siam, which is Pauli Cafe underneath True Cafe. Yeah, on the third floor. And just in the distance, you've got the wonderful skyline view of Bangkok with the Chao Phraya River. While I've been walking around exploring every floor here in the Icon Siam shopping mall, I've just found out about this Rose Dining, which is through here. And it's all dedicated to Japanese fine dining. Let me show you around, because it looks pretty impressive. Right here on the right hand side, we've got a restaurant called Sujiki. And then we've got this centerpiece artwork which I don't know what it resembles, but it's all made from wood. And then on the left-hand side, we've got Unagi Toku, another Japanese restaurant. Pretty pricey, 2,650 baht. We've also got another restaurant down here, which has like a number of wine bottles. Ah, sushi, right, 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 right. These lanterns I've seen similar in Japan. I've got a photo of them. I can't remember whether it was in Yokohama where I saw these. Katsukura looks very authentic. It's kind of almost been themed out like a Terminal 21. I made about three separate videos on Icon Siam and I think I've covered pretty much everything. I don't think I've left anything out or any details out of this place. So if you're watching these videos, you should be pretty well versed in what there is here in Icon Siam. The sixth floor by far though is the prettiest. If you want a first impression of Icon Siam, definitely come up to the sixth floor and then work your way down. The place we've chosen to have dinner is this restaurant, this Korean restaurant called Bim Bim Bap. If you don't know what Bim Bim Bap is, it looks something like this. That food has arrived steaming hot. All I taste is mushrooms. Mushrooms, 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 mushrooms. Rather than going home by car, I'm thinking about going home via the BTS. I've never done that from Icon Siam, and I think that would be an interesting second portion of the video. I probably will regret it. Right, so I'm setting off at exactly 7.45. First problem is finding out where I can catch the BTS from Icon Siam, which floor I need to go to. It's probably gonna be like the first floor. Am I gonna take the lift down? Yeah, taking the lift down will probably be the better idea rather than going down the escalators. Oh, it says BTS here. Okay. Sorry, do you know why there's two BTS? Uh. Okay, so I've come to the first floor and then through these double set of doors is the BTS. By car, it will take me 25 minutes to go home. But if I take public transportation, what are we looking at? One hour and 25 minutes. Holy crap. Usually to go home, I would come out right over here with a car and then go up there and then take a right like two or three hundred meters down and then that would lead me to Nontamburi. But with the BTS, me don't know what I'm doing, man. We are at Chiaron Nakon right here and I have to go all the way to Kong Bang Pai. That's the closest BTS station uh, to where I live. Now, how on earth am I going to get there from here? I'm not sure. Maybe I have to go to Krong Tonburi and then we go up 
this way and change over here, then like that, and like, oh my lord, this is a mission and a half. Please select station. Oh, okay, I've got to go to shit. Uh, I'm gonna insert a 20 bar note. All right. Nice. Normal temperature. Where I live, I just haven't been able to use a BTS as much. I'd love to use a BTS more frequently. It's an awesome transportation system. Here it is. Doors will open on the right hand side of the train. Whoops, I put the train in the wrong direction. It seems as though this train just kind of alternates between the last stop and the other stop on the other end of the line. So it just kind of goes up and down, up and down, up and down. So I've arrived at Tonbury, Krung Tonbury. Now the next dilemma I have is, do I go to Bangwa Pier and then switch to the Metro subway and then go up this way? Or do I go in the other direction and go to, what's that, Saladeng or Silom? I think Silom and then go around in that direction or possibly in that direction. But I'm scared that not many trains are gonna come in this direction. I don't know what to do. But what I do know is I need to take the BTS SkyTrain Silom line, which is that line there. Let's go find out where that is. First, I need to exit the train station. Okay. I'm trying to get to this station here. Station that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, which which way should I go on the Silom line? Um, I can go to Bangwa. Oh, yes, go to Bangwa and Shen to MRT. Papanka just came from over there and we're now heading in this direction. I swear, it feels like I'm traveling Europe again. I miss traveling people. This is the Silom line. We are Krung Tonburi and we've got to go to Bangwa. English. Oh, Bangwa, there we are. Yes, Bangwa, there we are. 31 bar. Uh, where do I pop the cash in? Oh, it doesn't accept cash. Okay. An exchanger, yeah? all right. Pop the marker, thank you. Two. One. Okay, two bangwa. I'm only mainly trying to film the main portions of this journey because I don't have a lot of battery left. I still got to get to the BTS line, take a motorbike taxi home and a song tower home. Oh my lord. Looks like I'm the only person on this platform. How many stops until Bangwa? One, two, three, four, five stops. I now have to change to the MRT line, which is the metro. Right, so according to the security, uh, the MRT is this way, which is correct. You hear those motorbikes ripping through the streets? Anyway, we are in Bangwa and we have to go in this direction and then go up to Tao Poon. Right, anyway, I've got to get myself a ticket. English. Tao Poon. Here we are, BL10, right? Yes, 40 bar. Got my coins here, let's go. Start pumping them in. Cool. Whoa, what the hell is this? What the hell? It's like some coupon, some token. Calpoon, shake up. In that direction. All right, thank you very much. I still don't quite understand how I'm supposed to get to Talpoon. How I'm going to determine which train will go in that direction or which train will go in this direction. Still confused as hell. But a nice big station this. There's nobody out here. Okay, so I've just asked someone and they've told me because we're in Bangwa, we need to go to Tao Pra. And then we get off at Tao Pra and then we change the line such that we go in this direction rather than that direction. I thought you could change the line or pick the line from Bangwa to determine whether you want to go in that direction, but you can't. You've got to do that here at Tao Pra. Is this the right station? Yes, okay, cool. Thank you very much. This way, is it? It's kind of good to talk aloud because then people can hear you and answer you. 
So to Bangkun, non through Bang. We are here and Bangkun Non is here. Yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. We got it, we got it, we got it. Sorry Ka. Ah here's the train. Oh you're gonna clean? Oh okay. Stop on care, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's eight stops on the blue MRT line to Taupong. I've got to say, the transportation of the BTS and the Metro seems super clean. Really, really clean. There's no trash on the floor or like chewing gum or anything like that. The only thing about riding the Metro or the BTS, which are both elevated transportation systems, is you can't see anything at night time. Like during the day it would be really nice, but during the night it's pretty much pitch black outside. Not much of a view. Station. Please find the gap between train and platform. Okay, from Taupun, I now need to change to the last and final train for this journey, which is the purple line. Oh, one more train to go. Taupun, and we've got to go all the way to Kong Bang Pai. How many stops is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 stops. Ooh. But this is what the purple line looks like. There's a lot of people waiting. So many people. Looks like the purple line's quite a busy line. And they're all queuing up, you see? Wow, I didn't realize you have to queue up. I was gonna say, the purple line is a lot more friendly for tall people than the blue line. The blue line was like really low down. Like I, have, I kept bashing my head against the uh, the handrails. Again, the purple line is pretty clean. I don't see any rubbish lying around. Seats look nice and clean, nice and shiny. Oh shit, I just realized I was supposed to give this back, but I don't know how I got through the barrier. This is the MRT token. And it says on here, property of MRT. Now I finished with the trains. Now I've got to get myself a song towel all the way to the nearby temple which is about a 15 minute drive and then a motorbike taxi to okay no problem 28 did you say 10 20. come on girl, thank you yeah thank you so that is central westgate and I'm going down the stairs over there to wait for a song tower. If I'm not mistaken, this is the bus stop and I should wait here to be able to get the song tower home, but I don't know how long I'm gonna have to wait. Right, so I set off from Icon Siam at 7.45. The time is now 10.03. You know what, I'm gonna wait for 10 minutes. If a song tower doesn't come in 10 minutes, I'm just gonna get myself a taxi home because uh, I can't be bothered. It's already taken me two, two hours and 15 minutes just to get to this point. It's gonna take me another 20 minutes to get home just by car. What's three, what's three buang bon or something like that? Hey, Nice. Here you go. Oh, one hundred. Okay. No, no, it's okay. okay. 120. Oh, Don't worry. Thank you. You're welcome. Come for my camp. Why are you angry? <laughs> why are you angry, huh? Why are you angry, huh? <laughs> What's wrong with you, mate? Oh, 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 he ended up going the wrong way, so, you know, it was only like two or three minutes. So I still paid him the full amount. But anyway, it's taken me ages to come here. My dog is absolutely stressed out. He really wants to go inside. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share the video as always. And many thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. And I'm never going to take the public transportation again from central Bangkok to my house. Relax, really. <laughs> Why are you making so much noise? <laughs>